So the main reason a woman would leave you on red is because you are not a priority to her. She can be interested in you and she can be intrigued, but sometimes it goes beyond that. Now let's go ahead and explain all this fun stuff. What's going on guys? My name is Assam from DopeLifeCoaching.com and today I'm going to be talking about why she left you on red. Now, if it's your first time on this channel and you'd like consistent updates on similar content, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and you also subscribe down below. Hit the bell icon to get notified so that you don't miss a thing. So the average guy has been through this at least a couple of times. And trust me, dude, I get it. It can be frustrating. It can be confusing. It can leave you with question marks that are left unanswered. But let me tell you something first before getting into the meat of this subject which by the way, that's why I suggest you watch until the very end to gain the most possible out of the video. But here's the two things. Number one, just because she left you on red doesn't necessarily mean she's not interested. Sometimes, dude, it has nothing to do with you. It could be her period. It could be her dog died. It could be anything, family emergency. And number two, just because she left you on red doesn't mean you should react to it or accept it. Very important. You're not supposed to react or accept it either. So with that being said, why exactly does she leave you on red? It's because in some way, shape or form, you are not a priority to her at this moment. Very important at this moment. It is completely subject to change. And that's the important part that you need to grasp because now you're probably asking, coach, how do I make myself a priority to her? Here's exactly how you'll get a woman to prioritize you so that she doesn't leave you on red in the future. So you need to give her FOMO, the fear of missing out. And here's what you do. There's two ways to do this. The first way is you do absolutely nothing. It's counterintuitive. I know you're probably expecting a specific tactic or trip, but trust me, dude, this works. Now, why is that? Your absence and your non-reactance are going to start to trigger her curiosity. And then when she starts getting curious, she's going to think, Hmm, I haven't heard from him in a couple days. What's he up to? Did he find someone else? Is he having other fun in his life besides me? Did he find someone to fill that void or to fill me rather? Whatever it is, you're going to get her thinking. And it's extremely likely that that thinking is going to cause her to reach out to you, which is exactly what you want. Now, after she gets curious and she reaches out to you, this is the second step. You tell her how good you've been, any good hobbies or passions you've been getting into, anything productive in your life, anything that gives good vibes. You let her know that you're having a good time. And of course, you don't want to lie about this. You legitimately want to be doing something fun and productive for you, something that's going to give off good vibes to her. And then when she does, when she talks to you and she sees that you're unfazed and you actually were having a good time without her after being in rapport for a couple minutes with her. And by the way, there's a video up here explaining how to be in rapport with women. What you want to do is you tell her how you didn't appreciate being left on red like that and then wait for her response. More than likely, her response is going to be, oh, I was so busy. I had to take care of my dog. My friend needed this, this, that, and the other, all that bullshit. You acknowledge her excuses, but you tell her you really don't appreciate being left on red like that. No one's not on their phone for a full 24 hours or maybe even sometimes days. That's just ridiculous. So you let her know that. And then you wait. You see from her tonality and her response. If she starts to apologize and say, you know what? I'm wrong. I probably shouldn't have left you on red. So I'm sorry I did that. And I want to make it up to you. If she says something like that, then cool. Accept the apology. But if she tells you some bullshit, like oh, I'm actually really busy. I don't understand why you're mad. There's nothing between us. I leave people on red all the time. Then you just tell her this nice and calm. It looks like we're not really a good match. And probably this isn't a good idea to keep talking. And then you see how she responds. If she just lets you go like that, then what you need to do is leave because that was a blessing in disguise. Do you really want to be with a woman who let you just walk out like that? 
Fuck no, dude. You want a woman who's going to latch on to you and be like, no, I'm sorry. How can I make it right by you? I want you. How can I make it up to you? You want a woman who's not going to let you just leave like that. Because guess what? If she just lets you leave that easily, that just means she's not really interested, dude. Her true colors were revealed. But on the other hand, if when you say something like that, she says, no, 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 no. I want to make it up to you. I'm sorry. I really like you. I think you're cool. I think this, that, and the other, whatever. Then you give her a second chance. And then more than likely, this time around, she'll actually apologize and want to make it up to you because she doesn't want to lose you, dude. Think about it. Two contrasting examples. But at the end of the day, you don't want to be with someone who's just going to leave you like that or let you leave, rather. You want to be with someone who go the extra mile just to see you. Someone who'll be excited to see you even if you were 200 miles away. They'd be excited to at least drive to you or drive to you halfway just to spend a couple hours with you. That's proof that they're interested. A person who doesn't really care, they'll just let you go. And to be honest, you don't want to spend time and waste your time with women who have that type of attitude about you. You want women who are super interested in you. So in that scenario right there, you did two things that are very, very powerful. The first is that you are non-reactive. Being non-reactive is extremely attractive because it shows that you have composure and also shows that you're not the type of guy who's going to be a stalker and needy when she's not there. So that's number one. Number two, you showed that you have the boss to stand up for yourself. You showed her with proof that if she doesn't do what's to your liking and she just leaves, then you're willing to walk away. If she just leaves you on red like that, you're willing to leave yourself and walk away. And at the same time, you do this in a non-reactive way. You just do this in a firm but calm way. That's self-composure. That's respect. That's manly. You're in control of your own emotions. Your emotions don't control you, dude. Remember, it's a big difference. And also as a side note, dude, just know that it's possible that her interest can skyrocket after you do that to her. When in the beginning, her interest wasn't as high. It was just a little bit high. Why? Because she was expecting you to be just like the majority of guys, blowing up her phone, texting her all the time, being very predictable and overly eager. But you, on the other hand, you were the completely different. You were the complete opposite. You backed off, you distanced herself, and then you let her know what your terms are when she came back to you. It's very powerful, guys, and it's extremely likely that her interest will skyrocket after that happens because you're showing up as completely different from all the other guys and at the same time you're standing your ground without being too reactive. Very powerful dude. So just as a recap guys, a woman will leave you on red if she does not see you as a priority. She either likes you at first in the beginning, but a good way to amplify her attraction for you is to distance yourself and then also after you demonstrated that you're non-reactive, you let her know that you don't appreciate that. And if she does not apologize or you don't believe it from her tonality, then you just let her know that you and two are not meant to be. However, if she does apologize after that, then her interest will skyrocket. And then you'll have her on your terms where you hold the position of power. And she knows now that that can't happen again. So that puts you in a win-win situation either way. It's very powerful. If you like the video, guys, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and also subscribe down below. Comment down in the comment section below for future videos or ideas you'd like me to cover. Go to www.dopelifecoaching.com. We still have free consultations for first-timers, dude, so make sure you take advantage of that offer. Now, that's it, guys. Go out there, do this, and notice that it will work wonders for you. Peace.